It's a seal. Indeed. The royal seal. It's a seal seal, not a royal seal. It is a seal seal owned by a king, thus a royal seal. Happy New Year! You guys, it is the new year and to a lot of people it is a very special day because it gives them the sense of hope and um, second chances and of course a fresh new start. And it is 2019 which means it is the last teen year so let's make it a memorable one. Hopefully filled with good memories, filled with um, joy, happiness, love, success and growth. and. Um, yeah, so anyways, uh, I hope you guys like this new intro, new, new year, new intro, and um, it is a bit childish, but I got so happy when I watched that episode of Tangled, the series, and the Eugene Fitzherbert and the King of Corona ended up saying my name, and honestly, I ended up sending it streaks to all my friends, and I was high-key hoping that Rapunzel would also say my name, but uh, she didn't, so that's okay. But anyways, so on to the advice. Um, this video was requested a long time ago and I filmed it but I just did not like the way it came out and so I'm refilming it right now. So basically I was asked how do I get myself off of social media, how do I discipline myself to study and honestly from my experience with IGCSE and AS level these are the three things that have helped me out and the first thing is keeping a positive mindset. Yes I know you guys have all heard it before but if you tell yourself that it's hard and that it's difficult, then yes, it will be hard and difficult. If you tell yourself that it's easy, that it, you're, you can manage it, then that is what's going to happen. And it's like this law of the universe, so um, what you think of or what you say has to manifest. So keep telling yourself that it's simple, that it's easy, that um, you're, you can do this, then that is what's going to happen. Um, this is you can understand it's very easily if you have younger siblings or younger cousins and uh, for example your sister would come to you like oh seventh grade is so hard and stuff like that but you just look at her and you're like no it's not seventh grade is easy what are you talking about and the thing is you've gone through this that's why it's easy to you but not to them it's the same thing with us so if you ask anyone ask anyone that's in a grade that's higher than you or that has graduated high school they're gonna be like what you're doing is so simple compared to what I'm doing it's the same exact thing so don't tell yourself that it's hard it's actually isn't it's just that you're not um, exposed to it yet and the, the more you spend time reading the books and getting yourself familiar with it the easier it will be so basically uh, an extra tip, so before um, before the teacher goes over a certain chapter, read it beforehand just so you know what's going to happen and if you have any questions, you'll be ready to ask right away. So then the second tip is uh, finding your motivation. What motivates you? What truly makes you want to study and makes you want to learn? Don't tell me it's because, you know, like we all know it's about, you know, your future and it's going to make it a lot easier for you. but what is it what deep down is the reason for you to study for you to learn like for example i want to study because i want to help people and that is the reason why i go to school why i make these videos and stuff like that so i want you to think about it late at night or maybe while you're taking a shower or wherever you think just um think about it find out why it is that you go and study not because you know your parents are forcing you to go to school or because you just have no choice like what is it what's the reason behind you learning and um, oh yeah you can also set like small goals for example your school has a um, overseas school trip or you're going to this tournament or something like that with your school and tell yourself that you can't go unless you complete uh, this many chapters or you get an A in this subject or something like that something that will motivate you something like use that passion for sports or that passion for uh, traveling and stuff in your studies use that as your motivation now the third and final tip is finding your inspiration so what inspires you who's your role model what makes you go like I want to be like them when I'm older and um, I'm gonna tell you, it does not have to be a real life person. It can be a fictional character. Yes, a fictional character. I remember when I was younger, I used to watch these shows where like um, it has mysteries and like smart kids and all that kind of stuff. And I'll be like, oh my god, the smart friend is so cool and it's always helpful and they can they know all these things. And I'm just like, I'm just in awe looking at them watching the show, whether it's like Scooby Doo or like Big Hero Six or whatever, you know. And so. Um, now that I'm older and I go back and watch these shows, I'm just like, 
oh my god, I totally understand what they're saying. Oh, I understand that. I took that in bio. I took that in camp. It just makes you feel a lot better knowing that you actually understand and that you're learning, right? So find your inspiration. Find the person that you want to be or, you know, someone that is similar. And yes, uh, you can be that character and even better because you are a real life person and you can always improve, but they're stuck in just one place. So yeah, that is it for the three tips. So keeping a positive mindset, finding your motivation and finding your inspiration. And these are the three tips. And I hope you guys like this video. And before that, I just wanna say my birthday's in four days. And so I was thinking of maybe making a video every day but maybe that's too much. <laughs> but on the day of my birthday, I was thinking of doing a Q&A or like a challenge, but I'm not sure. If you guys have any ideas, let me know in the comment section below. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Bye. <laughs> let me think, what did I want to say next? What do I want to say next? <laughs> No, it's actually hers, and then Rowan took it, and then I took it from Rowan, and now she's wearing it. Lol. Really?